Okay, I'd like to show you um, the floor hip thrust. So, this is going to be on your back, and the feet are going to be just about shoulder width here. So I'm showing you the front, as I'll show you the side. So the feet will be about shoulder width like this. Um, you can put your feet down when you start. Uh, however, I like to have people put their heels down. Uh, you'll see why. So from the side, look like this. When I lie on the ground, my hands, palms down, lateral position. And you notice my heels are down. I'm just going to squeeze up. So I'm going to create a straight line here. Head stays the same, everything stays the same. It's not this huge arch like this, just to the bottom of the scapula. Just to thrust up, squeeze the glutes back down. You can put your feet down like this. You'll feel a difference. You can give it a shot. Feel the difference. But when you have your heels up, you can really get a good squeeze in the hamstrings and glutes. Just like that. Pause. Pause. Eventually, you can use weights. Um, but for the time being, just keep it simple. So mistakes, I'll repeat this. So a, a mistake that I'll see is people get their legs too far out and they do something like this. That's not good. Um, you want to be able to really feel, you, want to, you can see the angle here. You want to get a straight line here and really feel a squeeze here in your glutes. You can test it out. You should be able to feel it. And if you can't, give them a little hit and you'll feel it. Another one is, another mistake is that people will get this big arch up here. This is not necessary and not good, so don't do it. Um, so that's it. Ah, floor hip thrust.